Hey everyone, Corey here, and today I got some gameplay of Team Deathmatch on Lockdown. This gameplay is actually from iShockers, so I'll put a link to his channel where you can check him out by going to youtube.com slash iShockers. Today I'm going to talk about the Curiosity rover landing on Mars today. Well, last night, um, Sunday night at 1.32 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is actually my time zone, so that's kind of cool. But I was sleeping like a baby. Anyhow, uh, the Mars rover cost... 2.5 billion dollars for this whole mission for it to go to Mars it took about 5,000 people from 37 states and they've been spending like 10 years for this to uh, have it happen that's insane 10 years I haven't worked on anything in 10 years except for I guess growing up anyhow the thing weighs about one ton um, to give you an idea of how much that is most cars weigh around probably two to three ton I believe and apparently it's the size of an SUV, which is pretty big. Really big, actually. Um, bigger than a car, but weighs less than a car. Its goal is to be there for one Martian year, which is 687 Earth days, which is kind of weird that it has more days than us. We have 365, for those of you that don't know that. Um, so that's uh, over 300 more days than us in one year. It's pretty cool. They think it might be habitable. 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 They think it might be habitable. Um, they're not. When they, when they say like they don't mean that like humans live there, but there may have been some form of life, maybe germs, maybe probably not germs, but you know what I mean. Something like that. Maybe a random plant or or uh, a molecule. I guess is what they're thinking, um, but they're not sure. The images I'm using are from WPTV, so you can check out more information about the Mars uh, landing on uh, WPTV.com. It left Earth in November 26, which is uh, pretty long ago, so it took that long. It traveled 352 million miles, which were uh, 567 million kilometers. So, that's a uh, a long ways. <laughs> um, 352 miles is pretty long as well. So uh, do the math. 60 miles per hour. 352 million miles. If you were to drive that in a car, it would take you forever. <laughs> um, the thing has 17 cameras on it, which is kind of cool. I like cameras. You like cameras. However, in my personal opinion, this is 2012, and that camera quality, which I'll show you the pictures, obviously, it looks terrible. It looks terrible. I mean, we're all about HD and all that, and the cameras look, maybe it's just because it's on Mars or something, but I think, that, you know, $2.5 billion, they could have bought better cameras, or some, I mean, phones come with better cameras than what those pictures are showing. So that kind of disappoints me. You know, I wanted, like, full 1080p, I don't even know. But, uh, so pretty cool, you know, that we are on Mars with that, a rover. Uh, the rover has laser survey, no, has lasers that can survey the composition of rocks, which means it can analyze, I guess, the rocks that are on the ground. whoop dee doo I don't know, to me that sounds really boring, but I guess it's kind of cool, because the rocks aren't the same as on Earth, so they can find out different things, um, and they can do that from a distance. So I guess uh, if they, they don't feel like walking over there, I don't know. Um, it also has instruments to analyze samples of soil and rocks. So again, it can uh, find out what type of soil, what type of rocks are there. Maybe it's sand, maybe it's dirt, maybe it's some unknown substance. That's kind of cool. We have been on Mars before. We have a spirit and an opportunity. They were both rovers. Um, the opportunity is still going. But Spirit, in uh, they 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 I guess landed on Mars in 2004. Uh, but Spirit got stuck in sand in 2000 and stopped working in 2010. Imagine that spending millions billions of dollars and it gets stuck in sand, and you're like, oh, gotta build a new one. That sucks. Maybe this one will go rescue the other one. Doubt it, but you never know. Um, 
But Spirit and Opportunity's goal was 90 Martian days, which you have to do the math compared to our Earth days and their Earth days. So, so yeah, but that's pretty cool. Um, if they said that Mars was inhabitable and that people could live there, would you want to live there? You know, I don't know. It would probably cost like a million dollars. But uh, would you want to live there? Would you want to live on uh, on Mars? I don't think I... I don't know, actually. I don't know. There probably wouldn't be internet access. <laughs> So I don't want to live there. Couldn't do YouTube from Mars, but uh, it'd be kind of cool. Um, I'm excited to see all the other pictures that we get from from Mars. Hopefully they're in better quality, but uh, I don't know. Um, but maybe we'll see some creatures up there. I don't know. Who knows? Hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Go check out YouTube.com slash iShockers, and I will see you guys tomorrow with some more gameplay. Let me know. Would you want to live on Mars? Yes or no?